guys, my name is Naomi. This video is from your friends at IJDM Toys customer service team. Um, today we will be covering some basic questions that customers have had with our direct fit LED daytime ring lights. We will also be covering some installation tips for you guys. And depending on the um, DRL kit that you've purchased, there may be some um, special components um, involved with it. So our guides will help you specifically determine um, how to wire up your specific daytime ring lights. And also FYI, our products are all com completely plug and play. Um, you don't need to cut or splice any wires or I mean you don't need to cut and modify any parts for our product in your car. When you receive your LED daytime lights, here's what you should expect to receive. Two lamps, one for the left and right side, and a module box. You may see two wires, three wires, or even more depending on which one you had purchased. And um, you'll also receive an installation guide. Um, make sure you follow it very thoroughly because um, if you do not follow it exactly, it may not function properly. And you can also scan a little QR code at the bottom. Uh, it'll take you to the installation guide online. Okay, and um, the module box is extremely important in uh, when you install the um, daytime running lights because it stabilizes the power and it supplies the power to um, the it powers up or lights up the daytime running lights. And if you do not use this, um, the lifespan of the of the daytime lights will be greatly reduced and it can also burn out very very quickly, causing some partial light up or maybe along the line it just doesn't light up anymore. Now we're going to demonstrate how to wire up the um, simplest module box setup. It comes with two wires, uh, one for um, the battery negative and battery positive. And so now we're just going to connect it and test it. So please keep in mind that when you bench test it, it may, sh it may shut off after um, a couple of seconds, but that's completely normal when you bench test it because the bench tester, it, um, it doesn't have the fluctuating power um, like a vehicle does so that it can detect when to turn on or turn off. So now we're going to demonstrate our more complicated um, DRL setup. This comes with multiple wires. It may look a little bit um, you know, scary at first, but it's actually very straightforward. Um, basically, you would need to tap the uh, red and black wires to um, the battery positive and negative. And we have, uh, we also have um, an ACC wire, and the color might be different on yours um, depending on you know the batch that has been released. But ours is blue, so um, you need to tap this blue wire in order to actually power on the daytime running lights. And we also have two uh, wires. Um, there's a White and yellow one, it's optional for the turn signals if you are to use these ones in the daytime running lights with flash amber and then back to white when you turn off your turn signals. So now, um, now we're going to bench test it. Um, of course, make sure to um, install it with the module box or else um, something might go wrong without it. Now we're going to demonstrate the white portion. This, uh, this turns on because we just tapped the ACC wire and then once we tap the oh there you go I don't know if you can see it there but it's supposed to be amber off amber off and then black back to white when you um We understand that not everyone will choose to install these LED daytime and lights by themselves, so they might choose to take it to the mechanic. So here are a few friendly tips and reminders. Um, so um, prior to installing the product, uh, we recommend that you can have your a mechanic bench test the product with a module box to ensure that everything is working okay, so that you can um, save some time and labor in case there's something wrong later on. And um, so after bench testing it and you, um, the lights do not turn on, then you can determine that it's probably incorrect wiring. And for a clean install, we recommend that you can um, zip tie all the wires 
and we recommend that you do not cut anything because it's um, considered a permanent modification and therefore it's going to void all of the warranty. So um, if you have any other further questions or concerns, you can always feel free to contact us. You can give us a call, shoot us an email, or um, chat with us on live chat. And um, well, thank you for watching our video and uh, we hope you enjoyed your new daytime running lights. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please like us on Facebook for news and updates and visit us at ijdmtoy.com. Thank you.